I was shocked to hear from Ivan at the General Motors publicity office that a Montana was up for inspection. After all, I had already driven the Chevrolet truck more than 5,000 kilometers round trip between Rio and Montevideo at the beginning of the year. However, you went with the best of the best of the Montana RS. I'll be bringing a basic version now, he said. Then I had an image of a fully dismantled pickup truck, the kind built specifically to attract fleet operators' bids. The most basic variant of the Montana on GM's list is only a 1.2 turbo mount with a manual transmission, and lacks even a surname. Living in really simple setups is always interesting and makes for interesting writing. When compared to variants with greater equipment, some of them are even more sporty in their conduct. Admittedly, I was delighted about the possibility because press fleets seldom get vehicles like these. But I noticed when I went to pick up the truck, the Spartan Mount, R$127,150, was not the Montana that arrived instead, it was the LT, R$133,450, the second most basic of five models. Being the best equipped Montana with a manual transmission is its goal. It's plain but orderly from the exterior. The Montana LT now sports 17 steel rims with hubcaps that, to the uninformed, are alloy wheels because the plastic looks like diamonds replacing the 16 wheels used on the mount. The tires on the three most costly versions of the LTZ, R$146,990, Premier, R$155,450, and RS, R$158,550 AR Michelin Primacy 215.55 R17. Rather than being composed of black plastic, the door handles and mirror housings are painted in the same color as the body. The more costly models have black stickers covering the A-pillars, which are otherwise the same color as the body.